just intrigued about your process because you've said to me before that you do this thing that you take a step forward a season, take another step forward, you might develop a jacquard, you might develop a knit, a silk, you take these steps forward and then maybe you'll, for the next collection, you'll almost look back to go forward. Yeah, I mean, uh, for me it's kind of, uh, we never stop experimenting and developing new things, but throughout different seasons, the things that we find the most exciting and most useful, we kind of reuse it and make it even better, because we cannot... Um, um, stop, you know, experimenting, but at the same time, uh, sometimes it's good when we can go back and, you know, we can say he's our own archive. Yeah. Uh, to. Um, As a resource. Yeah. Because sometimes you almost don't realize when you're in the thick of it what you've done. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time to look back. Yeah, I, you know, I love developing new techniques, fabrics, um, different type of neat print. You know, I can. So you might you might develop a jacquard one season or a. Knit. Yeah, it could be it could be anything. It depends on um, a season, but what what's exciting about it is that after a couple of seasons, the things that were developed we can reuse and you know kind of learn from it. So, you know, kind of creating your own archive and then kind of using it. Uh, so re-referencing, because yeah. sometimes when you're, when you're in that moment of designing, it's such an intense process, you don't always see how good something is. Yeah, you need, you need some time and, I mean, bigger, bigger brands with a you know, kind of long history, they have this uh, beautiful archives that they can, you know, go back and look at the cut, look at the fabrics, look at, you know, finishings. And uh, for us, for young brands, it's more difficult, but we're kind of trying um, to create our own archive. You, it's interesting because I think when you go to any design studio, you'll always find that mood board on the wall. You'll always find those images plastered on the wall. Do you know why it is that designers need to go back and do that? No, I think... Um, Beautiful, beautiful images on the wall, uh, you know, they're all put there for different reasons. Some capturing the mood, some the finishing that you want to reuse, some for color. Uh, it's many different elements that you need to see all the time to make you... Um, to sort of propel you yeah. forward. Yeah. It's the same, same as, you know, kind of looking at archive pieces, still images, you know, uh, different videos. Yeah, related to the theme and the collection, and for for this particular season, we developed uh, 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 cashmere in Scotland, which was quite amazing because um, it was the first time that we did uh, knitwear, and it's turned out really, really beautiful. And uh, again, jacquards from you know, also from Scottish mills. Um, we kind of reinterpret this kind of. Uh, um, dog tooth motif into something fresher, yeah. very kind of, uh, I, I call it, you know, very kind of 60s inspired print uh, graphic, yeah. but because the silhouette of the Greyhound was taken from kind of art deco period, yes. it looks quite, quite strange, but in a good way, I like it. Cause it's like a, um, I love the sixties re yeah. repetition, but from far away you don't see that it's a kind of dog motif. It's just a graphic. But if you look uh, really close, you see that there is a little um, statues of greyhound. Um, and yeah, it was it was quite an interesting process to be able to develop your own fabric. Yeah, uh, you know that you don't. It's, need it, but it's interesting when you say you've taken that motif that when we looked at the mood board and there are pictures of your starting point, the paintings of the greyhound. I love the humour that you've interpreted that into a jacquard and you call it a play on a dog tooth, which is genius. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, every time we're kind of trying to have the um, kind of sense of humour within kind of being kind of serious and focused on what we do. So, yeah, that's what we developed for this season. I'm very excited about it. Out of interest, do you have, and I, I always like to think this, that there's always something in a collection or we do it in the magazine or I'm sure musicians do it in songs, there's just like your own private little joke that you just smile to yourself about. 
Yeah, at different times it's different things, but we, we do have that. Yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's something that's just that you hold for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. We have plenty of that, um, especially during the night developing things. <laughs> yeah, there's nights where you get to three o'clock in the morning and you're tired, but there's something Sometimes that makes you smart. Sometimes six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> and then all doing through the night, because that's what the design process really is, and that's what many people don't really understand. It's, it's not very healthy, though, but it's... It's amazing. You can't do it without it. Yeah, it's part of yeah. It's part of the, what propels you forward. Yeah, definitely. Okay.